Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video we will be discussing problem 6 of the 2020 AMU1. The problem reads, a flat board has a circular hole with radius 1 and a circular hole with radius 2 such that the distance between the centers of the two holes is 7. Two spheres with equal radii sit in the two holes such that the spheres are tangent to each other. The squares of the radi radius of the spheres is m over n where m and n are relatively prime positive integers. Find m plus n. Now what I don't like about 3D Geo problems is that it's really hard to visualize the problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a 2D cross section. And we're going to take the 2D cross section of the sphere sitting in the hole of radius 1. And if we do that, we're going to get a diagram that looks like this. Something like this. Um, you can see that we have our two um, spheres or circles in our 2D cross section and they're um, tangent to each other. And I've also drawn some lines to help us solve this problem. So I've labeled the, the radius of both circles and I've drawn the line connecting the um, centers of the two circles and also the perpendicular bisector from the center of the circle. So what we're going to do now is we notice this right triangle over here. This um, hypotenuse of this right triangle is R and then um, we know that this length is 1 because the problem told us. So we can find this height pretty easily using Pythagorean theorem. So the height, let's just let it be h. So, so we have h squared plus 1 squared and that's going to be equal to um, big R squared. Now 1 squared is always just 1 so it's h, h squared plus 1 oh, what is that? 1 is equal to R squared. Now we want to find h, right? So h is equal to root r squared minus 1. And we can do the same thing over here. Um, we know that this is also r and um, this radius is 2. So we have, let's, let's just call it h1 squared plus 2 squared equals r squared. And you can do the same process, you get um, h1 is equal to root um, r squared minus 4. Now what are we going to do with these lengths? Um, we know that this is root r squared minus 1 and this is root r squared minus 4. Now if you look really closely, you can see that the, there's this small right triangle over here. And we... Um, we know that this, the base of this right triangle is seven, um, because the problem told us that the problem told us that the distance between the centers of the two holes is seven. So we know that this is seven. This is um, two r, and we can also figure out this t um, tiny little length over here because we know that this total length is root r squared minus one, and this. Um, length over here is root r squared minus 4 so that little length over there is going to be root r squared minus 1 minus root r squared minus 4 so now that we know all the lengths of the right triangle we're just going to use Pythagorean theorem to find the the radius squared so we have um, root r squared minus 1 plus root r squared minus uh wait this should be minus yeah root r squared minus four and then that's squared plus seven squared that's the base that that's all equal to um two r whole squared all right now this is just pure pure algebra right now so this is going to be r squared minus 1 and then minus 2 times r squared minus 1 times r squared minus 4 and then we're going to add um, r squared minus 4 squared which is just r squared minus 4 and then we add the 49 and this is going to be 4r squared and we can see that we're on the right track here because we have that 4, um, we have the r squared, which is what we want. 
So we're just going to keep simplifying this. This is going to be, let's see, minus 1, minus 4, that's negative 5, plus 49, that's going to be 44. Um, and then I'm also going to expand the stuff in the square root. So we have r, r squared. Uh, what did I say? Minus 1, uh, plus 44. Minus 2 root r to the 4 minus um, 5 r squared plus 4. And then let's see. Uh, r squared minus, yeah, I think that's right. And then this is equal to 4 r squared. All right, so uh, this is going to be. Uh, this actually should be 2r squared plus 44 minus 2 root r to the 4 minus 5r squared plus 4 equals 4r squared. Right, yeah. Okay, so we're going to move this 2r squared and the 44 to the other side. So we have uh, 2r squared minus 44. And that's equal to negative 2 root r to the 4 minus 5r squared plus 4. Let me rewrite that. Negative 2 root r to the 4 minus 5r squared plus 4. Well, that's a lot of algebra. Okay. All right, this should be equals. All right, so now we're going to divide by 2. So this is going to be negative root r to the 4 minus 5r squared plus 4 is equal to r squared minus 22. Now we're going to um, square both sides to get rid of this um, square root. So we have the negative sign goes away so we have r to the 4 minus 5r squared plus 4 is equal to r squared minus 22. Oh, we have to square that. So we have r to the 4 minus 44 r squared plus 44. And that's equal to r to the 4 minus 5 r squared plus 4. Now we can see this r to the 4 cancelled out nicely and moving this 44 r squared to the other side we have what is negative 5 plus 44 which is uh, 39 r squared equals 484 so r squared is equal to 484 over 39 which is equal to 160 over 13. Thus m is equal to 160 and n is equal to 13 so our answer is 173. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.